right, what is good? Before we start, I wanted to give an apologize that I'm probably going to wear the same sweater for all of the upcoming YouTube videos as well. And I already did it probably for the uh, past couple of videos. So I'm really sorry for that. Um, anyways, let's start with today's video. Um, that was kind of a weird interaction if you're new to the channel. Uh, welcome, of course. But um, yeah, on this channel, we talk about student acquisition for dojo owners, essentially. And in today's video, well, I don't have like a specific script, which I almost never have for these videos, because um, I just want to give them like, I just want to give you my pure, um, my, the purest form form of my ideas here. And so when I'm recording this, I'm like, I just want to think while I record these and just be like, yeah, that would be a good point, or not particularly think, but like when I record these videos, I just talk, and then whilst I talk, I realize, all right, no, we could talk about that because. They need like you would need to understand this as well if you want to understand this right and to understand this you also need to understand this and so i just connected and maybe to understand this you also need to understand this um anyways all pretty interesting in today's video i just wanted to talk about with you guys about like a stoic belief that i think is super important um it's sorry quick water break before we continue it's not particularly one that is only helpful for dojo owners. I think it's one that is something that every human being has to realize way more of. But I still thought, yeah, I, it would be a good video, I think, to just talk about. So I'm I'm not only recording this video for you, I'm also recording it like kind of for myself. So I know, I, I remember what I need to do essentially as well. Um, the lesson of this is essentially that you should humble yourself way more. Like I've written down here, um, Humble yourself, always remember that you're connected to, to the world and realize how small you are, but what kind of potential you have. And what that basically means is that you should, like, if you're in a trough right now or if it's really going great for you right now, whatever it is, you should always remember to be that you're, like, just a part of this universe. Like, you're just part of, of this planet, of this universe, whatever you want to call it, whatever it is. Um, well, of course, I know the difference between a planet and a universe. At least I think so. Maybe I don't, but you get the point. Um, so you just have to have to like remember that you're like connected to the system. So like, if you would be the only human being on Earth, well, it's cool, but okay, all right, you're the only human being, but there are plenty of other human beings, and it only makes sense to be to be you as a, to be you as a human being, so to speak, because there are other human beings as well. Um, and it's like, well, you always have to remember, like, you can really, really fast get into this thinking of, like, yeah, it doesn't matter, like, it will just be one person, right? But to a certain degree, it does matter, because as I've said, if you would be the only human being, well, that would be special. But you're not, and, like, one human being alone isn't worth something. It's, it's the same with, with trees. Imagine there would only be one tree on Earth. It would kind of be... Can't, can't be weird. I don't know exactly where I'm going with this bread right now whilst I talk through it. But like essentially you have to you have to remember like all of this only makes sense because the other, I mean maybe it doesn't make sense, but like all of this only exists or makes sense because the other stuff exists as well. So when I look outside for example and I see this tree, it only makes sense because I see other trees beside it or because there are other trees on this earth as well. And it's the same with you, like like you're just part of this like bigger picture so to speak and you always have to remember that every animal on earth is doing their duty so like ants i don't know they they, they carry small stuff around whatever it is right so every every animal when it when it's up it just do, does its duty and so it's your duty as well as a human being to also fulfill your duty like to always to always work and at the end of the day to always suffer and to always um give it your best to stay disciplined and to do what you're supposed to do and not think like yeah i could do it now but i also could do it tomorrow i'm just gonna do it tomorrow no you do it fucking right now and then you just continue with your with your task essentially um like you have to remember that you have like a duty to to you i would not even particularly say only to yourself or to the gods or whatever it's like it's to everything so to speak it's well let's say you have the option I always give the same example in these YouTube videos, I don't know why, but let's say you have the option at 8 p.m. after your class to do to do some more work now or to go home and watch Netflix. Like 
when you do the work, like no one will really, really, really notice. Like no one will stand there when you then walk out of your dojo at 11 p.m. and you'll be like, no, I see if you've done more work. Good job, good job. Be proud of yourself. No one will be there. It won't. You will think, well, it doesn't really matter if I if I do the work then or not. Well, but to a degree, it does matter because, well, maybe no one, like no actually human being sees, but at least like God, the universe, whatever is up there, whatever you call it, right? It doesn't matter right now. Um, sees it, and that are going to be not particularly more proud of yourself, but trust me, they will reward you for this. Like. I I mean it might sound like kind of like like this weird spiritual stuff now that I'm diving into here, but like think about it. You did the work, all right. You will feel a little better when you are home. Of course, you had to suffer and you had to go through some discipline and you had to go through a little, little bit of pain because you did not choose the easy option. You choose the hard option, so to speak. So it it might have sucked in that moment, but like the next morning when you wake up, like you'll feel super happy about yourself or not particularly happy i think happy is the wrong word here but you'll feel fulfilled so to speak so you'll have this feeling of fulfillment or of um what's it of enlightenment yeah that's what i was looking for um and like if you do this over a long enough period of time like people will notice not only but you'll also just feel more enlightened you'll feel more connected to everything because you did your duty right and but I'm not saying here that you should not take time off, but you should definitely earn your rest time. So you should really push yourself to the limit and then be like, yeah, no, I deserve time off, actually. Instead of like, like, like just plan your time off. And I would say this like is the most important part here. Um, but like the most important thing is, I think, just like also humble yourself sometimes even more. Like, like we can, we tend to forget pretty fast. For example, if you're like a black belt in jujitsu and you own your own jujitsu school now, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like we tend to forget how much we still have to learn about jujitsu, even if you if you think you're already done with it. Like there's always someone, probably, or there was always someone who was better at it at you, and there's always like someone who can teach you something, even if he's only like a blue belt or whatever. Or I mean, you get the point, right? Don't take me in like too specific with these jujitsu stuff. No, right? Like in the comments, no. Yeah, but a blue belt can't teach a black belt anything. And just blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I get, I get, I get. But you, like, you can always learn something from someone. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't matter if you're a black belt and he or she's a white belt, whatever it is. Um, like, you should never be there, like, with this egotism and be like, yeah, right. I know everything already because you still can learn everything. And like, essentially. When we really think about it, then ego is in that perspective the complete enemy here, because well, when you would be, when you would always be like, yeah, I know everything already. No, I don't, I, I don't need to learn stuff. Then you would not get anywhere. And why would you think that you're good at something? And like when you're good at something, like you won't continue trying. So why would you think that you're good? And why not just think, I, I should be better. Like. Or I'm bad and I want to be good. Like, of course, be realistic. If you're a black belt in jiu-jitsu and you own a, your own academy or school, or whatever, you're probably decent at jiu-jitsu, jiu jiu at least, to say the least, probably. Um, but, like, when you say you're good, you're going to stop trying. That's the point here, right? And so, like, always keep trying, always keep pushing. There's always something new to learn. And now you might say, yeah, that's cool, but isn't there then, like, an end to it? And I think, at least from my perspective, like, that's my current understanding of it, like, the end is perhaps once you die. Uh, I know this gets really deep now, but I think unless you die, you should always stay humble, humble yourself, and always think, yep, I can learn something from, from that person or from that person. Because essentially, you can probably learn something from every person. And, like, to kind of, to kind of get to my last point of this video, it's like... Well, let's say you're born here and then you're you die here and then you have like whatever years in between right so the only thing you then really have is is, is of course time so you have this time span but what you also have is this energy and, and those two things combined i would say we can call potential so you have this timeline where you go alive and then you have this energy now let's say like the first 15 years of your life maybe or let's say you're you're 38 years old right now and I mean, of course, you could die today, but you could also die in like 60, 70, 80 years. Uh, who knows? No one knows, which makes life even more interesting. But that would be a little too deep for today's video, I guess. 
Um, and then essentially, like, if you're here right now, and like, let's say, hypothetically, you would know that you would live 80 years, so you still have, like, this huge, I hope this makes sense, what I'm, what I'm showing here, this huge timestamp here to, to, to fulfill. But essentially, you don't know, maybe you also die tomorrow, but, like, you just have, have, have time, essentially, and you have energy, and how you dedicate this energy is essentially, will essentially the, the will essentially determine the reality that you will create and like, what you'll also have to remember always is like unless you would of course die today or tomorrow whatever you will be a different human being at the end of next week every single time it might not be that big of a change but you will be a different human being so the goal is not particularly to become a different human being although it is but let me explain but the goal rather is to, to become a human being or to, to create the life that you wanted to create. And in order to do this, like, you only have time and energy to do this. But as I said, time is like a concept which doesn't really exist because, as I said, you could die tomorrow and then you only have like 26 hours left, whatever. But, but you could also die in 30 years and you have 30 years left. But it doesn't matter because... At the end of the day, the only thing you really can control is where you dedicate your energy to. And now, if you only dedicate energy to something for, for the next 26 hours for, or for the next 30 years, of course, it will make a difference. But as long as you do it until you die, it's all good. Um, and I think you have to get the point here. Like, the only thing you really, you really are is potential. And the only thing you can really do is to, to use this potential is to draw up a future or to draw up a life that you really want to have. So really think about that where do you want, want to be with my life and then to just use all of your energy essentially to achieve this this goal but let's say you want to get with your dojo to 50k in monthly revenue and you're currently making um 12k right like and you're saying all right um it's uh currently the 30th of september so let's say you want to be there um and in, in september you've made 12k and let's say you want to make those 50k in uh in February, because it's the new year, etc., etc., you get the point, right? And so, you're saying, all right, by February, I want to make 50k. Well, you have to run up the goal now, all right? So, the goal is here, and you're here, and now you have to get, bridge this gap, and, of course, in order to bridge the gap, you have to, you have to be disciplined, you have to go through the fire, which is a story for another day. We've talked plenty of times about this on this channel, but, yeah, you essentially have to walk through this fire in order to get from 12k to 50k. And now you want, let's say you want to get there at by February. Well, the only thing you can really do is to wake up every day and to dedicate as much energy as possible towards that goal. What that looks like on a technical perspective, so in a day-to-day -day basis, it's up to you. I can't tell you that, I mean, I could of course, yeah, run ads, yeah, and then you have to teach classes, and then you have to hire people once you're there, blah, 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 blah. that's all interesting as well, but that's, I would say, only only like 20% of the equation. I think, I, I truly believe that 80% of it is really just going through the pain every day and just like doing the work essentially. And now you might say, yeah, but I'm already, I got already to 12K per month, so I'm already doing the work, good. But then face more pain, face it in any, um, face it in any area of your life, so to speak. But yeah, let's say you wanna be there by February and it's currently the end of September. Well, the only thing you can really do is to dedicate each day as much as much energy as you humanly can towards this goal. But you don't know if you'll reach it by February or not. Like, this is something the universe will decide. And the universe will give you 50k per month once you deserve it. Because I think the quote is from Charlie Manga and it says something like, the world is not yet a crazy enough space to reward a bunch of undeserving people. So in order to get to 50k per month with your dojo, you have to deserve 50k per month. And in order to deserve it, you have to become the person of the dojo owner that can make 50k per month. But you, like the point here, which, I'm, which I'm, I've talked around now for a bit, is in order for you to get to 50k per month, you should not say I want to be there by February or March or January, whatever month it is. You should only say I want to get to 50k per month and then dedicate as much time towards it as humanly possible every single day again and again and again now you might burn out etc all right take your time off here and there but the more pain you dedicate towards this goal the faster you're going to achieve but remove the time frame completely don't say you want to be there by february january whatever it is 
And because what will happen is that like the odds of you actually hitting that goal in that month pretty small, I would say. Plus, I mean, unless you know like the math completely perfectly, etc. etc. Right? But what will happen is either you will achieve your goal too, goal too early and then you have planned too pessimistic. So let's say you say, yeah, I'll be there in 10, in 10 years by, by 50k per month. Probably a little pessimistic. But by February, that's probably a little optimistic, too optimistic. Um, so you just remove the time frame and then you just dedicate as much energy towards that goal every single day. I hope that point makes sense. That's everything for today's video, I think. I hope you found it helpful at least the least. Um, and yeah, if you want more students for your dojo, check out the first link in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.